Hello, I'm Casey Deary. I'd like to spend a minute talking to you about equipment that I will use and I won't use. Um, the question was posed to me, what do I do to make my horse have a proper headset? Uh, what equipment that I use in that to, to help me with that process? So for me, I see a lot of horses in martingales and I see a lot of horses in draw reins. And the thing that a person has to understand first and foremost is that is only a gimmick or a trick to help shortcut through where a guy hadn't done their homework in the beginning. I'm not telling you that there's not a point that a person needs to use that, but if it's something that you're living in, you're usually creating more of an issue than you are helping your problem. Most of the time a draw rein or a uh, martingale, be it a running martingale or a German martingale, are gonna have a tendency to pull that horse's shoulders down, okay? For me, when I'm working on getting my horse to pack that bridle or collect up or carry their neck, all of that means the same thing to me. I want to make sure that my horse has a barrier set in front of them and that I push their hind end forward. And as I push their hind end forward, their shoulder should elevate through their wither and the horse's neck should break from the wither and drop. So I never go about my job trying to get my horse to put its head down. If I need to get his head to go down, I'm gonna pick his belly and his shoulders up. So this little tool is a great tool for me because it gives me, for starters, it's very slow in the way that it draws. I can pull here, I can be quick, and that rope is gonna take some of my reaction time out and slow it down. The slower I am to my horse, the better that horse has the opportunity of understanding what I'm after. So. The other thing this does for me is it gives me a little bit of bonnet pressure over the top. So I can set my hands in one place and I can drive that horse forward with my legs and have him come up. And if he wants to fight or push or come up, I can leave my hands in one place and the farther he gets away from me, the more pressure this bridle will put on him. Once that horse yields to my hand and breaks at his wither and picks his back up, then I'm gonna release. And I'm gonna release completely to make sure that he doesn't hang on my hand. Anytime I have any sort of bridle that I'm using, be it a smooth snaffle or a shank bridle, anytime I make constant contact, that horse is gonna lean back to it. Horses by nature will go to pressure. So it's our job as horsemen to teach that horse to yield to pressure. And the only way I know to get them to yield to pressure is to release that pressure once they give.